Hi, this is a demonstration of a custom API subscription approval flow for Amplify Central and the Unified Catalog. The custom subscription approval flow is built in Axway's integration builder and I'm going to have two personas in this demonstration. One is the API consumer who's subscribing to an API and the second persona is the API approver. So let me start off as the API consumer. I'm in the Unified Catalog and I see APIs here uh, exposed through agents uh, in the catalog. And I have APIs here from Axway's API Manager, from uh, AWS API Gateway, and from MuleSoft. And the API in particular that I'm interested in is this Pet Store API that's in the AWS API Gateway. So let me click on it and I can review the various methods exposed by this API and I can, for example, I want to test it out, so maybe I go to Postman, my preferred tool for testing out APIs, I enter in the information, and if I try to run this, I will see that um, I get a forbidden uh, error message, status 403, and I happen to be missing the API key required for this, and of course, uh, it is a protected API, and I see I have the ability to subscribe to it. So why don't I do that? I'll click on subscribe, and select a team, give it a name. I want to use this API for a mobile app. I'll select the usage plan and make my request. So that request triggers my integration builder flow, which will do things. So now I'm going to switch personas to the API approver. And I can see as an API approver, I just got a notification in Microsoft Teams. So this subscription approval flow um, sent a notification to Microsoft Teams. And we can see the time, 141, so that's the, the current request. So um, it's an API subscription request. Uh, the name of the subscription request is mobile app. If I click on that, I will actually see the details of this subscription request. Okay, that's great, I, I can review that. Um, what I can also do, read the instructions here, um, a JIRA incident was, and the API is the Petstar API, and it says here, a JIRA incident was automatically created. Click on the incident link below to approve, reject the subscription, and set the incident status to done. So that is my subscription approval process. I have an API approver that looks at the subscription, um, maybe does some things in JIRA, but eventually when you're ready to approve or reject, um, I will set the incident to close. So let's go do that. So that launched uh, JIRA and brought me to the particular incident and I have all the same information, including a link to the subscription the user who requested it, and some instructions on what to do. So as the API approver, I can come here and I can approve or reject this uh, request. I can put in some comments. Um, go build that, that mobile app. And then I just need to set the incident to done. Now at this point, my integration builder uh, subscription flow is detecting that the JIRA incident has been set to the done state, um, and then it's going to make an API call to Central to approve that subscription. Uh, and then Central, together with the agent, will send an email to the API consumer. So now I'm back as the API consumer waiting for an email, uh, which will have the API key um, that I could use to make my API call. Now in parallel, what's also happening with AWS is the API is being redeployed since a key was created, and there's my email. And I need the API key name. And I need the value. And hopefully the API has been redeployed. And let me test it out. Oh, and it was, and here is my information. So I was able to make that API call with the API key. Now let's go back to, uh, let's say I'm the API uh, manager again. And if I come back here and refresh this JIRA incident that's already closed, I also have a record that the API subscription was approved by the subscription flow. So that's a comment that was added to the incident. 
Uh, also, if I come to subscriptions and click on the subscription, I and look at the history, um, there's the message that went to the user. And again, the um, subscription was set to active. So that's a demonstration of a custom API subscription approval flow um, for Amplify Central in the Unified Catalog using connected gateways uh, with our agents um, and using Axway's integration builder to actually do the custom subscription approval flow, which involved Microsoft Teams to notify the API approval team, and then also JIRA for tracking subscription requests and their status. Thank you.